allowed to get into the kitchen. <laughs> so, before, years ago, women weren't, weren't allowed even to enter. It was a man, men's club. But now they can enter, but not in the kitchen. So what happens? That they get to the table, they see, and the, the dishes are in the kitchen. And the food, I mean, and they cannot cook. So they just sit and wait. You can serve. Sounds <laughs> good. And that comes, I think, the women really didn't improve. In the past history, historically, before the Romans came and the Catholicism was established, the woman was the head of the family and the, the one that was saying, you have to do this and that. An example is when the house was inherited, normally the eldest daughter would take the house, not the, not the son, and many other things like that. So the woman was the leading role. For example, in ancient like the mythology, the most important god is Mary, called Mary, and it's a woman. So it was like, this it was a matriarchal, they call it. It was a society ruled by women. And there is and still the rule. Was it, so, so was it ruled well? Huh? Was it ruled well? Did the women do well? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Around us. Uh, before, like, from, let's say, 100 years, like, 100 to nearly 1800s, those people had their own laws, special laws. So there was a kind of democracy. I will say democracy, but it was not democracy. So each village has its mayor, but it was elected to vote. Even women and men could vote. So not only women, even men, because you know this is the way around. <laughs> And then all the, all the mayors would go to a parliament, mm -hmm. that for its region. So we are talking about when the king, the king area, no, past people like have like their own democracy. And the king of Spain and France, no, France was in it still, they, they accepted those rules. So all past people were like noble, they had like nobilistic title, just for being Basque, <laughs> and many other things. But they're little by little, they were taken out. And then, an English word, bizarre, that you, you all know, it comes from Basque actually. The thing is, bizarre is like strange or macabre or something like that. And Basque means beard. And the thing is, some uh, anthropologists say that Basque people and Red Indians, they have like a common link. So they are like uh, similar. And the thing is that you don't see a Red Indian with a mustache or beard. And they said that the Basque people didn't have either. So when the, Sp uh, from the people from the southern area arrived, Beard was like strange to them, <laughs> and that's why they call beard it's cis, and it's also strange. And it's a uh, word that comes from Basque. Bizarra, bizarra is called in Basque is bizarra, and it I means used nowadays. I mean, it's, you know, bizarra is common word. So, this is more or less. And to finish with, once again, we invite Mrs. Wolf to say something. Time to close. I think I. I'd like to end this time with a Basque ending, <laughs> where they end every story, every Basque story. I warn you, it's a little tough, it's not a bit sentimental, it's very much on the realistic side, and therefore very Basque indeed. At the end of a story, a Basque story, they don't say, and they lived happily ever after. Now here in the Basque country they say, and if they lived well, they died well. <laughs> Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Do you have any questions or to ask? Isoka is not your uh, like national. Uh, we play soccer a lot. I mean, we're in a, my sport, my soccer club. In Basque. Yeah, what about in Basque? Yeah? Soccer is not a popular sport? It's popular, but not everyone, it's not a Basque sport. I mean, it's popular, I mean, <coughs> everybody plays so, soccer. So compared to your life. Uh, for example, for you to know, when the Pilota, Humble, it was the final, one and one final. And there was also in the TV, the Champions League final, you know, the, the European League. The TV got the same rates for the basketball and the, for the soccer match. So. I mean, the tickets for that match were like 
150 euros, so more, more or less like 180 dollars tickets. <laughs> get there, and the betting is crazy, and people bet. I mean, more, I think the minimum is. I think the minimum, the minimum is 600 yeah. euros. Really? They get crazy. They bet yeah. the minimum bet 600 euros, and people bet. You can see 10,000 euros. That's why your wife manages the house. It's like fifteen thousand dollars. <laughs> so I mean, a lot of money. Mm. A lot of fun. Yeah. So who manages the government now? Are the women still in charge, or is there? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. The president is it's a man. It's, it's Patty Lopez. But the shadows. In the the shadow. wife. <laughs> are, are there women in the government now? Yeah, I mean, more, I think that they, they, you know, they... Not in the shadows, but... Uh, it has no, to no, be 50% no, no, I mean, yeah, by law, I think. 50% you know, by law? Yeah, yeah. More, more than 50%, I think, now. But the law says that has to be the, at least 50% yeah. least women. Oh, in in all, every city council, yeah. in the Spanish the government, thing is, everywhere. The thing is, some people were complaining. I remember, I say it was 50-50, and some people say, well, we want 70% of women and 30% men, why not? So. <laughs> so who does the cooking in the Basque country now? At home both, normally both, normally both parents know, maybe men yeah. less, but then your the societies, I mean, they know, they know how to cook, so. Yeah. And people just go to all those societies, which is cheaper, because you bring their food, you cook it there, you pay some money to maintain the club and everything, the kitchen, and you need the electricity and all that. And men, man, the cooking, the cookers there. Yeah, but they don't do the dishes. They no, hire no, someone to the yeah, dishes. So they <laughs> live and... But some places they do still. Like, still they do. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should bring some of your culture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you do the dances like it was on the film? Yeah. When I was small, yes. I mean, so yes, I was... Uh, this was uh, Yeah, I used to do dance, but... Uh, Basque people have, uh, how to say... We don't have any movement here, this part. <laughs> Still, we, we can't. The hip is the model for us. So all those Latin, like salsa, we are horrible. Uh, we are not really good dancers. <laughs> those people are professionals. And the national dance, they can do the same movement with the knees. Yeah. The national dance. Like your concert is like kind of a totally different than other southern part of uh, Spain. Mm -hmm. So do they, like other uh, Spanish, do they know this culture is like kind of popular and do they, they copy in no. southern part? The pro... Uh, it's very important. <laughs> <laughs> <That's nice>. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is... Yeah. Thank you for the answer. No, the thing is, they know. They know. But some people don't like it. Because it's different. And it's not Spanish. Mm -hmm. So that we get into the thing of some past people want to be independent, some others don't. Some Spanish people like, they think it's part of the culture. I mean, you have different, you know, dances in different countries, different languages. That's, I mean, it's good. Some people don't like it. So they don't copy it. Because they, I mean, they have their traditions, fine. The wolf fighting and everything, the Sevillanas and all that, but they don't copy it. <coughs> Do you have a seat in the Spanish government? In, uh, mm -hmm. No, we have like uh, a... Is it like a separate country within Spain? No. But it would be like the Senate in the U.S. I mean, they're elected from all the places in, yeah. in Spain, and then you have a representation yeah. on the go central government. And we have kind of, a, like a, kind of a state. Yeah, and then you have Senate. the... the, the state within the... Yeah, like the United yeah. States. It's just a, yeah. have, like representatives to go into... Yes, in the parliament. Yeah. And also, some, I mean, for example, economically, we are... Uh, but the thing is, okay, I will get back. Sorry. The thing is that you've seen seven provinces, seven areas. These three are like an estate, let's say. Yeah. yeah, like West Virginia. This one is another one. Yeah. So they have another president. And these three are in, the Fr are in France. And they don't have their own representatives. So it's, not, it's kind of complicated because... Even in this Spanish area, we are not like, uh, like our state. So these three are, and this one, and this one are economic, uh, economically independent. 
it, they, we have like a kind of agreement, so we get around money from taxes, and give, we give part to the Spanish state, and then with the rest of the money, we manage. Yeah, we pay the army, we pay all the costs uh, that the king of Spain has, you know, all the big family. And we're paying proportionally what Spain is giving us in services because of the security in so the we army. We don't get money from the Spanish, uh, Spanish state. It's just our money. And we give part of that money to kind of be like independent economy. And these two, are this and this, in France, no. They are part of an Aquitanian speaker. Here, Basque is official, but here no. But they do all speak Basque language, yeah. and we yeah. share the same culture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Per capita income is I look pretty high. I mean, yeah. 45, 45, 6 or something like that. Yeah. It's pretty high compared to the other countries around here. It's yeah. their highest in Europe. It's if you only take that region in Spain, not the whole Spain, that is a very yeah, rich. For example, now in Spain, is, the unemployment is. More than 20%, I think mm -hmm. that's the last number, it's a lot. And in the Basque country, this one, and even in Navarra, is like 10% or even less. And for example, in Gipuzkoa now, I think it's 6% the unemployment. And so it's like kind of different. I mean, um, because we have that law, we can manage our own money. So there are government uh, grants to make companies and everything. So we manage in another way, much I don't know, it's much better than the Spanish people. Because women are managing the money. I think that's the key. <laughs> so, yeah, it's very well, high. It has to be that. I think it's financially quite independent, mm -hmm. but it's politically dependent on. So there was a ceasefire in January. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, now, the, you know, there is a like terrorist group, the business, there is a political no party that supports them. So it was illegalized like, three years ago, four. I mean, because they didn't, uh, uh, they didn't say no to the ETA's terrorist attack. Like anybody from yeah, Spain they didn't say yes, that like, we, we are with them, but they didn't say no. So they were illegalized for not doing that. But now they, that's inspired. They made a new political party called Sortu, that means yeah, create. And in the you know the status of the political party, they say that they. They were against all kind of violence, including the ETA one. But yesterday, was, or was it today? No, I think yesterday, it was yesterday, well, the judges that had to decide if they were legal or not decided that they were not legal. So they are not, this May, June, the new elections, or some elections, they are not going to participate. Now, there's a 15% of people 15, that they don't, 10, 10, 15. 10, 15, that they don't have any party to vote. Yeah. Because they don't like the parties that are. Of I mean, the, the political, I mean, there it's quite difficult because you have the nationalist party, let's say, and non nationalist. The nationalist party will have like five, six, I mean, with that small population. Yeah, that's crazy. So it's crazy. Politics and then is crazy. Then right? there are like three more, five. So. <coughs> if you've I mean, seen the movie uh, Life of Brian with all the different yeah. factions that are the, the similar, the liberation front of Palestine, the Palestine liberation front. They look the same, but yeah. we have the same problem. Yeah. Like, they're all the same. What's the difference between them? Like, mm. Slight differences, and so, they don't agree with each other. I mean, it's kind of... Maybe some, sometimes we even don't know who we are, yeah. or what we would want. <laughs> so, <laughs> imagine to the others. <laughs> so, any other questions? Thank you very, very Thank much. You. coffee ho uh, hours that we have had have been presented by new ELI students, um, uh, having been here only a very short time. And um, I think both both of them have done such an incredible job. They, they really, really have worked hard on it, mm -hmm. and we appreciate all your hard work. And I don't know about you, but I would sign up to go any day. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put a sign-up sheet outside here. Anybody wants to go to the Basque Country, we'll have study abroad over there. Um, our next uh, event is Culture Fest. And that is uh, our biggest event of the year. It's going to be on April the 2nd down at the McDonough Center.